YouTube, how you doing? This is Puck. Well, in my previous video, I showed you my YouTube OS that was uh, built, of course, on Linux Mint. And this is my Mac OS X mod, in fact, for Linux Mint. And it's a distro that you can install as well. As you could see in my previous video, it doesn't exactly look like a Mac. Uh, it looks I think even more advanced as a <laughs> no I'm just kidding well this is in fact my my uh, my Mac desktop and many of you uh, in fact always liked my 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 modeled uh, Linux Mint desktops this is all running uh, under the powerful desktop called Mate and I think Mate is king of all the desktops uh, for guys that like to customize things around and here you can see the customization uh, is very nice as you can see here nice drives um, the file system was also done with some nice kind of Mac looking icons um, here in the YouTube OS you will also find uh, effect folders that represent whatever is in it this is videos music you see that I think this was music public pictures desktop so it kind of looks nice I think also if you're gonna boot it up it will show you a nice boot animation if we're gonna lock the screen let's lock the screen And this is the lock screen you see that and your password will be Apple Mac OS X okay that is the password of this device well of this distro if you're gonna uh, start it up it will bring you into an in-lock screen an Apple in-lock screen that I in fact cannot show you it's a very nice uh, Apple in-lock screen will be a surprise for you to see and uh, yeah up there you must log in with Apple Mac OS X okay let me type it for you uh, create document empty file and we're gonna we're gonna show that to you these are things that you will have to kind of write down the password is Apple Mac OS X password okay and uh, Whenever you're gonna install it, you will be able to change that into into whatever you want, okay? As well as the in-lock name. Don't forget these credentials, eh? Whenever you are gonna install it, don't forget whatever you you know, because it will not be this this password anymore. Alrighty, so um, close without saving. This we can delete. So boom. What do we have on board? On board we have. In audio audacity it's got a nice little microphone icon iMovie Kodi Kodi actually works uh, there will be no repository installed whenever you're gonna uh, uh, whenever you're gonna run it uh, you can pin every icon to the taskbar if you wish uh, you do also have OBS make sure you have your, the right video drivers installed this is uh, a, a media player up here the simple screen recorder that I'm using right now rhythm box will let you listen to music Spotify you can log in immediately to Spotify and listen to all sorts of music VLC media player um, tja, what more do you need uh, in the office sections we have of course the Libre office the base etc also uh, uh, with the built-in Java up here we have Amazon Gmail Google Docs and YouTube with the right mouse click let me show that to you right mouse click uninstall you will be able to uninstall whatever I added and what I did not add uh, certain things were already in the system but be careful whatever you're gonna uninstall okie doke so um, yeah I can show you I can show you the login screen log in screen log in here is the login window you will have to 
logged it in with your password apple mac os x and up here you're gonna see uh, uh, the background that i used and this is the one that i used so you're gonna have this gray black uh, background and somewhere here you should be able to log in it looks really good but i cannot show it to you because i'm recording and then the recording would stop if i'm gonna log off you understand about the mouse some of you will be like hey what is this big ridiculous mouse well <laughs> i just like it but uh, if you want to change it uh, you can go ahead and change it just go to the to the uh, mouse settings yeah and up here you can uh, i think somewhere also set how big you want it to be right handed slow or it was so done somewhere else in teaming you will have to find that out for yourself okay because i forgot where i'm where i changed this but uh, hey guys you also have google earth that in fact uh, is only working if you're gonna log in we have a firewall yeah driver manager this one you will have to run if you cannot uh, find a certain driver whenever you just uh, run it from the dvd or the bootable usb depending on what you're going to create from the iso uh, you will have to run the driver manager to in fact install the not uh, found wi-fi driver and if uh, if it's not possible to do that then you must connect uh, the device to uh, ethernet cable so you can update that driver so you can you know actually use that device what more do you need to know about the installation uh, i already showed it uh, before you're gonna install this you will have to create partitions and let me show you how that must be done you're gonna go to gparted apple mac os x you're gonna log into gparted and take a look at uh, the partitions how i created them you're gonna lose everything on the machine just uh, select all the partitions delete them create uh, create a partition call it x4 and make the partition uh, about uh, as you can see my linux web is two gigabytes because i have two gigabytes of memory in this thing i think or one gigabyte so make sure you keep two gigabyte at the end yeah so you make uh, if you if you also have a drive of 300 gigabytes or 320 gigabytes i think this one is it's showing 296 um, make sure that you have two gigabytes left at the back the first partition you will format it as a x4 yeah don't look at this one i'm on a mac this is uh, to trick the mac to still boot and uh, in fact this is uh, the main partition the root partition yeah this one is the root partition and you must create a linux web okay and then format them and then you can uh, you can go to the next step that will be here in uh, system tools you're gonna go to danger i call it danger because in fact uh if you don't know what you're doing you can lose everything and you won't have anything okay so up here you're gonna you're gonna log in and then you're gonna say live system install you're gonna put your name here password yeah give it the name here I'm gonna go next yeah and then this this one here the the biggest drive you're gonna set it to be mount point root and then you apply here i cannot because i must first format these partitions before i can do a thing like that in here and the small partition of two gigabytes you're gonna call it swap and then you can hit next don't forget to turn on this little transfer user configuration data files otherwise you will not be able to fix the system whenever you installed it because whenever you installed it it won't look this way these icons will all be empty and what you will have to do is right mouse click go to the properties yeah it's a puzzle you will have to i should call this puzzle os and then you're going to go to the home folder and you go find a, a folder there called system files you're going to click it yeah and in there you're going to find all, all all the icons that represent 
this whatever you're seeing here here at the side you can see the icon so if you need the monitor you're just gonna go until you see a monitor okay you're just gonna take a look into all the folders until you find the right folder that you want to use for the this mac this could be any any icon that you want to use but i would go for this one this is the effect yeah how did we call this it was called effect uh, the apple g4 but it's the yeah uh, some called it the, the the flower i don't even know it's a special uh, g4 it's a very nice one it's an imac g4 uh, but anyway so choose your icons fix them all around i made a video how to do that i'm not going to show that again and then uh don't forget that you can also fix this one here the little apple that you see just right mouse click and as well go to the finder and find it somewhere here you see i called it finder so you will have to fix that because it will be changed into mint you will be lucky uh, the boot animation will stay but if you're gonna run the update yeah if you're gonna run this update then you're gonna lose the boot animation so what you then will have to do is um in fact very simple um you're gonna go to to my system folder here you can also find it here you see it it's in red it has a red cross the system folder and uh, up here you're gonna find uh, a folder that i created wait a minute let me see where it is um yeah here it is mint logo 2 you see that um you're gonna copy it to your desktop where is it i lost it there this one is as well one you could also use the blue one you can use the blue one or here you see this one is already renamed to mint logo because uh, this is effect what you're gonna need this one or this one you can choose a blue apple or a white apple as boot i choose for the white one yeah what you're then gonna do you're gonna copy it to your desktop yeah don't forget to put it back eh? you can better you can better copy it let me let me show that real fast because you're gonna copy it copy to desktop there it is and then you're gonna rename it rename you're gonna remove the little two so it's called mint logo png then you're gonna go here to all all uh, to file system in file system you're gonna find your folder called user there it is and then you're gonna find a folder called share you're gonna go in there and find the folder called Plymouth. K L M N N O P. You probably have a faster way of finding it. Here it is, Plymouth. And then right mouse click, open as administrator. Yeah. Apple Mac OS 10. OS X, I mean. And then we're gonna open that folder. You're gonna go to Teams, yeah. And then you're gonna go to Mint Logo. And you can see mine is already there. And then because you are administrator, you will be able to replace it. I'm not gonna do that. And whenever you replace it and confirm to re replace the one from Mint Logo, uh, I mean the Mint Logo, the official one, then you close the windows, yeah. And you're gonna go to the terminal here all right and you're gonna type sudo yeah update and then a little stripe like that uh, i don't know how it's called uh, Engl english but update stripe and then init ram fs space stripe u u just that and then whenever you um, gonna hit enter it's gonna ask for your password put in your password confirm and then the boot animation will be replaced and after an, uh, a reboot your boot animation will be fixed and you're gonna have your your apple boot animation again or maybe another apple or maybe uh, any fruit that you wish you know um, 
so that's how to do it okay so you learned in this video uh, uh, how to install it how to partition and also how to install the boot animation whenever you're gonna run the update and the update will kind of remove all whatever you at least the boot animation and maybe even the mint logo i think the mint logo will not be changed that will stay the same um but uh effect yeah so guys um that is it be careful with these updates yeah these ones here i would would be very careful with them the number three and the and and, and the number four i would only go for the green ones okay and yeah just go ahead update it and change your boot animation back and your system will be running and up again okay don't forget that you must also fix the login screen whenever you're gonna fix all the icons around okay and uh let me see in here in here i also uh used this icon from imovie in fact for um for the video editor the what was it called again the kden 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 uh, video editor i gifted of course the imovie icon just to make this illusion a little bit greater up here you can select what quality you're gonna work in i'm not gonna do any of that and then you're gonna get into the video editor so guys hey girls ladies gentlemen whoever is watching this video um i want to wish you lots of luck i say uh, farewell uh my friends uh that will yeah, i know i i wanted to say differently i wanted to say farewell um uh, distro mac os x linux distro and may you make many people happy with these look and feels and may you uh, also update many uh, people that don't know about linux uh, may you make them happy and good luck and in version 2 i will first do an update you know and then i'm gonna create the mod and the rom or i mean the distro and then i'm gonna post it all the pictures that you see in here everything you're gonna find in your home folder you're gonna find a folder called system files in red and up here you're gonna find all the icons the, the ones of the folders are in here i think or in the other one here yeah and then a special credits to the guys of Deviant Art, uh, and thank you so much for the beautiful icons yeah uh, i also want to thank uh, mikey mike is also uh, one of the icon creators thank you so much uh, he created the folder icons uh, for the youtube os he never knew that a youtube os would really someday uh, be created even though it is not even official it's just for the fun but it's there and it also works as a real operating system so yeah even though it's just for fun this is a real working operating system that is getting the latest security updates as you can see here waiting for me to be installed and it looks great and it's very customizable i want to thank you for watching i hope you like this video uh, as usual i did not like it i loved it and i want to see you then in my next video that will present another beautiful distro or maybe the mods for the phone hmm. I will have to think I will have to think the possibilities are so great and there are so many things that I can do so I feel very motivated to bring the most beautiful desktops your way